Twins Alex and Connor sit in their classroom listening to a lesson in fairy tales. Alex answers all of the teacher's questions, but Connor finds himself in trouble as he has fallen asleep. He is able to answer the teacher's questions but is embarrassed by the attention placed on him. The next day, the twins are surprised once they return home from school to find their grandma has come to celebrate their birthdays with them. One of the presents they receive is The Land of Stories, a book that their father used to read to them. As Alex puts the book away before bed, she wishes that her life could be more like a fairy tale. Later, the book hums and glows at odd times, with the oddest being during class. Connor realizes the truth about the book and that Alex wants to enter the book but before he can stop her from jumping in, Connor trips, causing both of them to fall. Upon their arrival in the fairy tale land, they are met by a giant frog who invites the children to his home for tea, Connor nicknames him Froggy. Froggy gives them details about the land and tells them that the evil queen has escaped from Snow White's dungeon. Froggy also realizes that the children are from another land and need to return home. Froggy gives them a mysterious journal and tells them about the wishing spell and the journal states how to create it. Alex and Connor agree that this may be their only chance of getting home. The twins come across a gingerbread house belonging to a witch who wants to eat them. Connor is quick in wishing that the witch is a vegetarian to escape. Coming to Rapunzel's tower, the twins learn from the journal that one of the first pieces for the wishing spell is a lock of Rapunzel's hair, which they immediately find. The evil queen receives a visit from her former assistant, the huntsman. She has a task for him but since he is unable to do it, she enlists his daughter and renames her huntress and tells her to find the wishing spell items. The magic mirror tells the queen that two children are also looking for the items. Alex and Connor meet Goldilocks as she is fighting Malian Claw and his big bad wolf pack. When the fight is over, Goldilocks gives the twins a dagger and a warning to get out of the forest. Alex and Connor reach Cinderella's castle and the children learn about the ball being held that night. They try to use towels as robes and fake identities to enter the ball, but are denied. The head guard Sir Lampton overhears this and offers to escort Alex and Connor inside and to show them around. During the private tour they get a glimpse of Cinderella and notice she is pregnant. Eventually, they wind up in Cinderella's private storage room and they meet Cinderella herself as she shows them various things, including her glass slippers. Soon afterwards, a group of Snow White soldiers arrive to tell Cinderella and Prince Charming about the evil queen's escape, ending the ball. As Alex and Connor leave, they are shocked to find that one of Cinderella's slippers has been placed in their bag. When Alex and Connor come to Red Riding Hood's kingdom, Connor climbs a tree so that he can get over the wall. Alex follows him and lands on a haystack. As they make their way to the castle, they see the giant beanstalk belonging to Jack. They go to visit Jack, but he is mostly unresponsive. A conversation with Jack's magic harp in his house reveals that Jack is sad because he is in love with someone who is gone and that he has to deliver a basket to Red Riding Hood in the afternoon. The magic harp persuades Jack to bring Alex and Connor along with him, but Red Riding Hood is unimpressed with them. This allows Alex and Connor the opportunity to check out Red Riding Hood's basket room, but they are unable to find the basket they need. When they come back later that night, a mysterious figure also enters and is able to immediately get a piece of Red Riding Hood's main basket. Connor accidentally calls attention to himself and in an effort to escape quickly, the stranger kicks a lantern at the other baskets, lighting the room on fire. As Alex and Connor make their hasty escape, Alex is also able to get a piece of the basket. While Alex and Connor are lost, they wind up being kidnapped by a goblin and troll who take them to the goblin and troll territory to be forced to become slaves. On the way to the dungeon, a young female troll is focused on Connor as he goes by. Once they are placed in a cell, they try to ask others how to get out. No one speaks, except an old man who the twins realize is the tradesman who gave the journal writer information about the wishing spell. They ask about the witch who gave the journal writer the riddle list of items needed, but the tradesman tells them that the witch died in her thorn pit bush and that it has been enchanted to swallow whoever goes near it. Later in the night, 
the female troll who looked at Connor earlier comes to the cell and offers to free Connor and Alex if Connor kisses her. Connor reluctantly agrees, but once out of the cell, Alex shuts the troll in and frees everyone else. As the group of slaves, Alex, Connor, and the tradesmen tiptoe through the throne room, Alex notices that one of the items they are looking for is the crown of the goblin and troll king. Connor tries to get it but lands on the king who sounds the alarm as Connor grabs the crown. While racing through a tunnel, the tradesman knocks down a statue to trap the goblins and trolls, but tells Connor and Alex to go on without him as he knows he is a wanted man for all of his dishonest trades. After the twins get out of the goblin and troll territory, the pair finds themselves in the fairy kingdom. They encounter a fairy named Trix who is crying because she is about to be put on trial for changing another fairy's wings. Connor collects some of her tears, and then they offer to go with Trix to her trial. At the fairy council, Connor tells the fairies that Trix was only defending herself from a bully and that the goblins and trolls are kidnapping people and that the fairies need to go help. The fairies agree and they start to leave, but one of them calls for her pet that runs towards Alex and Connor. They are shocked to find that it is a walking fish, which they thought only existed in their father's made-up stories. As they consider this, the evil queen makes a deal with Malian Claw and his wolves. If the wolves bring Alex and Connor to her unharmed, she will give Malian Claw Red Riding Hood so that he may have revenge for the death of his father. When Alex and Connor get to the Sleeping Kingdom, they notice that everything and everyone look as if they are still sleeping. Instead of sneaking in, Alex and Connor go directly into the throne room of the castle to find Sleeping Beauty and her Prince Charming talking to their advisor. Just as Connor is showing Sleeping Beauty a trick on how to stay awake using rubber bands, Cinderella's slipper slips out of Alex's bag. Prince Charming calls for the guards, causing Alex and Connor to run and hide in a bedroom at the top of the castle. Sleeping Beauty comes in and tells them that they do not need to hide. She knows that they are there for the enchanted spindle that put her to sleep as someone else had asked for it before to create the wishing spell. She gives the spindle to Alex and Connor on the condition that they return it to her once they are finished, then she shows them a secret way out of the castle. Using the journal to locate the secret entrance, Alex and Connor are able to get into Snow White's castle after nightfall. They do not find the coffin where the journal says it should be in a hidden storage room. As Connor and Alex search the room, Alex finds a stack of letters from a lady named Evely to a man named Mira before they must hide as Snow White enters the room. After a brief discussion with her soldiers, Snow White is startled to see Alex and Connor. Snow White tells them that the coffin was returned to the dwarf mines and that anyone who crosses the queen is in grave danger. When Alex and Connor get to the dwarf mines, they find the coffin and get a jewel before being surrounded by Malian Claw and his group. Alex kicks a lantern towards them so they can escape in a cart, but upon leaving the cave they are taken prisoner by the same goblin and troll who kidnapped them earlier. The wolves eventually catch up and attack the goblin and troll allowing Alex and Connor to run away. They go to the cliff overlooking the ocean but they are still being pursued by the wolves. In a desperate act, Connor pushes Alex into the ocean and jumps in after her. During this, the evil queen comes to Goldilocks through a mirror in a barn and informs her of Red Riding Hood's love for Jack and that Goldilocks' fugitive status was caused by Red Riding Hood. Swearing revenge, Goldilocks leaves to pay a visit to Red Riding Hood, 